Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel for some more Tarkov PvP highlights. Today we're going to be focusing on my favorite optic currently in the game, which is the Bravo Scope. It's been in the game for a while, but all optics undergo changes from patch to patch. And at one point, the hammer was my favorite, then it was my Alcan, then it was like the Bo uh, the Voodoo and the Burris, and now it's the Bravo, and I usually fit it with a Burris Fast Fire or a PK-06 Red Dot on top. So in this video, we're also going to be featuring two different guns, an M1A with an Archangel stock and a modified M4. With that said, let's jump into some of this Tarkov action. Really bugs. But anyway... I'm just, I'm looking forward to when the verse starts. I think that's supposed to be what, like 3.5 cash? That's like what we're all waiting for right now. Because at the moment, it's a really fun game to go in and check it out. But everything that you do doesn't really save. Uh. <sighs> 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 The fuck was that guy doing here? <laughs> no! Are we bugged? I had four bleeding limbs. Please be open. I'm lucky. Gen 4 saved us. Shit. I don't really know how those aren't hitting this guy. There he is, he's right there. What's, what's happening with my weapons? These are clean shots. These are fine, these are clean. We're using uh, M80 rounds, 68 damage, reasonable pen. All right, that guy is dead now. That was a leg shot. Still kicking. I don't know if this is the guy that's inside, though. No way. It's this guy here. He's still, he was still alive the entire time. We didn't actually kill him. What is happening? 
with these rounds. There's no way you can survive that much 308, right? I have no idea, but that's the same dude from before. Dude's just running to extract. As for the other player, I don't know. He earned a, he earned the right to live. I'm not gonna go hunt that guy down any more than I already have. Um, is that old gas station extraction? Yes, it is. Just a Mosling, probably. Yeah. Got a Z-Shot. Oh no, he had a striker in a fort. Oh man, speaking of the Vepper. I don't want to leave now. I feel like the M1A is not a bad like all around gun. Like the stock M1A, the only thing about the M1A and I'm starting to do this lately, and I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me here. So this is a personal preference. But I do find that when I, the way I play with the M1A... I, oh! I spotted him way too late. Oh, that scared me. He was right up in, he was right in front of me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, man. Yeah, he was just sitting right on top of the hill. The, the moment I spotted him, I died. Um, it's, yeah, it's, I have to use it suppressed. That's the one, that's the caveat, I find. Um, that and the M4, man. The M4 is the same deal. It's like, I, uh, I always feel super uncomfortable whenever I, I run something like an unsuppressed M4. I always feel so exposed, you know? Yeah, I mean, like, what, what you would essentially have, like, let's say you had, like, a test server. Where dealers did not exist, but you had the flea market. How would that change the dynamic of the game? Money... Money would be introduced into the game by the form of safes and cash registers. And scavengers. Dude. Don't get shot in the head. Don't get shot in the head. I just want the packa. Like, you'd have people running... Like, finding a B-10 rail would have value for an AK-74. Rails would have value. Four X's would have value. Suppressors would have intense value. You'd have more people running Karasa, 3M. Pretty much, like, it'd be extremely rare that people would be running forts. A lot of Kivers. A lot of 6P-47s. Um, or possibly no armor. Um, whenever you kill somebody, every single item that they have, and every attachment that they have, every med that they have, and every round that they have has value. But that also means raids become more intense and more dangerous. It would just be a different game. I'm not saying it would be better. It'd just be different. It'd be different. Yeah, it's just like hard, if everyone played Hardcore Tarkov. But no, you would have the flea market though. Hardcore Tarkov with the flea market. Flea market would be there. So players can enter, like, they also bartering would be more of a thing, right? Because not everyone is going to have large stacks of cash. So you'd have more situations where some guy would be like, Hey, I'm bartering two AK-74s for one M4. Or, like, I found an MP7, so I would trade, like, 
two or three MP5s for this one MP7 or something. We're like, oh god. That lag was so bad. Yeah, I don't know where this guy went. That's a different player entirely. I suspect he wrapped left here. That's why I threw the grenade. That can't be, I mean, it could be him, but I doubt that it's him. Only 360p? Didn't I kill him? Different dude. That's actually our guy. We must have hurt this guy. Uh, what? What? This guy ran out of ammo. Got more grenades? Windage? Oh god. I don't know. I, I don't think there needs... Like, personally, I don't care either way whether or not there's windage in the game or not. Yeah, this thing is uh, heavily modified. 
This is the, the issue with the M4. With when you heavily modify it and you use M995 rounds, this thing is actually really good. But if you use it stock with M855A1 or M855 with very little attachments, it's really rough and it has a huge kick. Mm. I could have done this differently, but the, the ammo is really expensive. And also, I could have probably just be like that, and then grab the helmet, and then grab this too. All right. Well, I might just run out and just like make the bank and run it back. So, like my my recommendation is to increase the M4's base stats and reduce all of the attachments and like what they do to the M4. So at the end of the day, whenever you build an M4 that looks like this, you get the exact same statistics. So it performs just the same, but the base, the base weapon does a little bit better. Because, like, the M4 sucks, but this M4 is awesome. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's kind of weird. Because they're like, uh, I think Insurgency, like, asked them, and Ready or Not asked them, and a few other names. Hold on. Cobras! Yeah, you know what though, like if you if you put like putting yourself in their shoes, like I get it. Like, oh. Oh. 